All right, my Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, because of the love bonus, this is Sagittarius Truth Seeker here. Let's get right into it. All right, so in the beginning of the month, you're stepping into light, which means you're stepping into sun. You're trying to look for the light at the end of the tunnel. You may be wishing upon a star. You may be just looking for a new type of happiness inside of you, or you may already be happy here. This is a sense of feeling complete here because you have transformed into a whole nother person here. So this probably is um, coming from a little bit of February here. Definitely feeling a different you, okay? Because you have definitely found some type of firm foundation and changed your ways here, okay? Looks like your intuition will be guiding you also the first week of, of anything that be, may be coming in. You may re receive some information from your crown chakra because we have that as the shadow card here. All right, and... Uh, during the middle of the month, yep, what did I say? Firm foundation here. We have two fours, okay? And the reason why I say two fours is because one plus three is four. So this is uh, either you're trying to find a firm foundation or you already have one. But let's keep going here up. But in the middle, we have fertility in reverse. So there's a lack of abundance here in some type of way, whether it's love or material possessions, okay? Because this is like the Empress, and the Empress is an overall loving energy. So there may be a block. It may even be in... Um, it could possibly be in finances here, all right? Because it's like I've transformed, but I might be getting, uh, I might have the happiness I need, but I might be lacking in other parts when it comes to love. There's some type of um, obstacle here that is blocking you from a new beginning, okay? And then it's marrying your intuition, so maybe you'll get some type of downloads in the beginning um, weeks of March about your life here. So just, just pay attention to your dreams as well as intuition, premonitions, and things of that nature here. All right. We have the memories of love in reverse. So like I said, with Mercury, people are coming back. So <laughs> I feel like this is somebody that may be re starting to reappear in your life by the end of March here. It looks like a, a, a spiritual union. This could be a twin flame or a soulmate coming back. Or sometimes this is somebody who needs to heal a karmic tie. But this is somebody that you are not um, involved with right now. I will say that this is somebody that you are not involved with. I really feel like it is somebody from your past uh, cycle that may not have been completed because in the middle of March, you will be coming to a brand new cycle here. All right. Your transformation is over with. You are starting something totally new. But this has to deal with the loving aspect here. And so your love chakra, your heart chakra here, this is very important for the end of March. And it feels like um, there might be a block right here. OK. All right. And at the end, we have choose wisely. So up here we go. There is going to be a decision that you're going to have to make because everybody. If this is a blessed union, which means something that the universe puts together. And this is somebody from the past, I will tell you. Because this is a six of cups in reverse. All right. This is somebody that you've already had um, a relationship. And remember, when I say blessed union. This could be a family, a friend, or a loved one. All soulmates are not intimate. Some soulmates are platonic. Some soulmates are family members, okay? Um, but with this choose wisely here, it may be a lover telling you because you may have more than one option, okay? You may have more one um, more than one option when it comes to a uh, partnership here. So let's get more into it. This is something that you really need to think about. The number seven is also about, you know, psychology. So really thinking about things. This is somebody who is coming back. But like I say, when Mercury comes, some people who come back do not have their best interests at heart. And I feel like this is also why Sam choose wisely and make sure that you, it's also pointing to your intuition. So also make sure you um, listen to anything your intuition is telling you. Please go with your gut instincts, okay? Because you, this happiness that you're starting to gain at the beginning of the March, you do not want to lose it by choosing the wrong option here. And I feel like this is multiple people. Um, this is not one person who's coming to return to you. These are multiple people. This is where you get to choose wisely. Some are friends, okay? Uh, some are ex-friends. Some are exes, okay? But they have wounded you. They have wounded your heart chakra, all right? So let's see here. When it comes to light, yeah, um, looks like there's a happiness and work for some of you. Some of you are collaborating with people um, or just going out hanging with friends and everything is going nice for you. Transformation, yes, you're starting to get this new energy inside of you and you're starting to just move <clears throat> so flawlessly, okay? It's almost like walking on a cloud for you. 
everything is starting to uh, work for you, especially with communication. And you know, my Gemini's, you are the ruler of Mercury. So you might be able to handle this a lot better than everybody else who is going to have to deal with Mercury. This might be smooth sailing for you. I don't know. We'll see. When it deals with your intuition, it's definitely told you to walk away from a situation, looks like. Okay, so you might have got some... Um, some type of dream premonition or something like that where you had to walk away from the situation and this is what your intuition told you to do and exactly what you did okay you listen to it, it looks like when it comes to firm foundation you guys are patiently planning um and strategically planning what you want to do to make fruition in your life so some of you may be having financial difficulties here besides your heart block uh chakra being blocked um maybe from a past situation that you had to work uh work on you also are trying to work on your fan finances here all right yes Yes, I just said finances. Six of Pentacles. This is equal give and take. This is a gift coming in, a gift that's supposed to be received here. It looks like it is not being received. All right, so you might have, this could be your income tax. This could be just a surprise form of somebody giving you something here. So it may be coming in, but as right now, there may be a delay, okay? Okay, or with the Seven of Pentacles here, what you have been working on, you will be blessed. With the Seven, sorry, you will be blessed here with the Six of Pentacles energy but this is all about being patient even though you don't want to be patient this is about waiting until the right time divine timing here all right we're also having a lot of sixes here sixes deals with flexibility so this is being able to um come in a compromising manner okay when it comes to new beginnings all right so we had a major shift this tower yeah this is going to be your mercury here <laughs> this tower um it's going to come into your life and it's going to make you start something new. And some of you, it is something from your past. Because this is a new cycle here. And some of you, like I said, it is a blessed union. It is somebody that you're supposed to. Because um, your, your last week is all emotions. These are all cups. You are going to go through five major shifts. Five major changes here. You have a little bit of financial things going on here. But overall... This is on an emotional level, okay? And you being an air sign, this is going to be kind of out of your element when it comes to emotions here. All right, we have a queen of cups energy. Some of you will be making up with the, a water sign. It doesn't have to be um, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, or it could just be a woman uh, that seems like they have a beautiful heart, okay, very loving. But this is somebody from your past. This could also be a male as well, but he's a more passive male, I would say. It could also be a water sign, but I feel like it could be any sign. I will get some more information on this person for you. When it comes to the two of the, the, the spiritual union, it looks like it's something that you guys will have to. I have a six again. Six, it stands for harmony. It stands for balance. It stands also for um, truth and compromise. So I'm seeing a lot of sixes, you guys. One, two, three, four, four sixes, three sixes, whatever. Um... But this is something, somebody that is coming back into your life, okay? And they're going to hit you on a more emotional level, even if they're not of an, a water sign, okay? This is a person that is going to definitely affect your mood when they come in, all right? This person is going to affect you in a tough way. This is going to be somebody who, uh, if it's a family member, it's going to be somebody that you were really close with or a friend. Or if it's a lover, this is somebody that you were, were, were deep in love with, okay? And they're going to come and they're going to want to find a solution to any of the problems that you guys have been having. Okay. A calming type of solution this time. When it says choose wisely here, like I said, I feel like there's somebody else. I feel like you have more than one option, but right now this may be two. This may be somebody uh, very loving and caring here. And this may be somebody, same thing, well-respected, more money. Um have their selves together they may also bring a gift of coin with them as well and i feel like this is saying choose widely between between the two because remember money isn't everything okay and sometimes they people can uh use their emotions against you somebody can manipulate you with their emotions so that's why i think it's saying just really be careful which one you choose here when they do come back and we do have the high priestess in the shadow card so this is <laughs> this is a test lesson and a blessing all at the same time all right let me get some energy on this queen of pentacles here i mean sorry queen of cups just to see if i can give you some qualities about this person 
All right. Yep. I got the tower again. So this from somebody who you had a major falling out with. Okay. This is somebody who you had a definitely major falling out with, but this was somebody also you were definitely in love with. All right. Some of you, something you was definitely in, somebody you were definitely in love with. All right. And they're coming to offer you a bouquet of flowers. All right. Now, when it comes to this King of Pentacles energy, But this is all surrounded by the Six of Pentacles, which is a gift here. But for some reason, there will be a delay in this gift that you will be, re be receiving. All right. Let me see if I can get some energy on this. All right. Oh, this person is coming with the ring. Look at that. The ring. And you might meet this person at a social event. I feel like this may be something new. For some, it's going to be old versus new here. Because new love comes in too with the Mercury. Or this could be somebody that you're all already involved with. Okay, and they want to take it a step further. This could be somebody just brand new here. But they come with a ring. Okay, a ring in a garden. This person could be somebody that you meet on social media. You just meet out in public. But you meet out in a setting where it's a lot of people. Okay, or this person could be very popular. All right, so <laughs> really it's just all up to you. One of you might remember uh, who are, who these people are. You know how this resonates with you or whatever. But yeah, that's what that's going to be about. So let's go move over to love. And I know people are just like, I'm not in love. I need a general reading. But the thing about this is with Mercury conjuncting with Venus, this is really all like a lot of reasons are going to be about love no matter what you're asking about. Unless you just ask about finances. It, finances, it might be somebody from your love life going to come bless you. <laughs> You know, this is this is just that time. This is that 11, 11 year. So I know a lot of guys, people are getting aggravated about that. But I'm going to try to create a spread for my singles. Okay, so in love, twin flame. All right, twin flame energy here. You released yourself from your twin. All right. You feel like they have control over you. You feel like you can't move on without them because there's such a strong empathic and telepathic energy between the two of you. It's almost like a magnetic force. All right. Like I said, there is some money. Are you trying to get some money or um, a gift of money coming to you? All right. We have an ice cream. So this may be the person telling you about the money or uh, helping you. Or this could also be yourself in like a more colder type of nature here. But this is somebody who has a lot of wisdom also as well. All right. You're going to decide to date. Have fun times. Go out. Maybe if this money is incoming, you'll have time to just like stretch your legs and just chill out. All right. Then we have a true love by the end of the month. This is from a past life. True love, past life. This probably is that twin flame connection or a karmic soulmate here. Because you can know have you can have more than one soulmate. And guess what? I have that union card, that ring I saw. That's that ring I saw. And guess what? I have in the back a love triangle like i told you there's going to be two people here that are going to be in your life and it's just going to be a decision that you are definitely going to have to make you know and i feel like you should just definitely take the time out to make them all right so let's see let's get more into it so with the twin flame some of you can be dealing with the aries but they are going through their healing process as you know the divine I, this might even be the divine masculine here because they're going through a very rough time okay and the divine feminines are they're a little more the divine feminines are kind of moving on <laughs> that's the stage where they kind of want to move forward and move on so they've been trying to release their self or catch that freedom here i have that king of pentacles energy again all right so um i feel like you're just trying to release yourself from them they may be an earth sign as well I have a lot of people trying to uh, release their stuff from an earth sign, specifically a Capricorn, but this is a Taurus. Okay, so this is somebody that may have been from your past. So this person coming back, the person coming back with the ring may be the person that you already know. The Queen of, um, who was that? The Queen of Cups may be the person that you uh, didn't quite know, okay? Who's just trying to offer some love. They're not quite ready for the ring yet, you know, because they don't know you like that. But when it comes to control, yeah, you feel like they're controlling your direction and which, which way you should move. So this is definitely a twin. But that magnetic force, it's like somebody that you can't get out your head no matter what. No matter what you do, they won't go anywhere. No matter if you want to move on or not. 
they just still there. Okay. But, um, you're definitely just like, they're controlling my love life. Even though they're, we're not speaking, they're not purposely controlling. It's just like, universe, what is going on here? But it's like, you're trying to look out for different options. Some of you may even have three different options. Okay. But it feels like you're being controlled by some, you know, something or somebody else. And you could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus or in an Aquarius here. When it comes to money, we have the lovers in reverse. So you guys are going to have to be making some decisions about uh, your finances here. Okay. Because um, we did have the Six of Pentacles. We also have the Seven of Pentacles too. But you're definitely going to have to choose something like um, one bill over another. You're going to have to cut like down on some um, some spending habits. You're going to have to get under control basically. Okay. With the ice king here, you just your overall energy is just walking away. And then we remember we did have the six of swords in the other reading here, and this is just mentally just walking away from the situation. You are becoming very cold right now because it's like I don't want a lot of you just don't want that connection anymore. Just being honest, a lot of people don't. And if it's not even a twin flame, it's just a very powerful connection here. But you have two here. You have two very powerful connections <clears throat> that may be coming into your life. When it comes to fun times, we have the Ace of Pentacles. So you're going to reach a brand new opportunity. Something new is coming to you. Okay. And this might just have to deal with you. You may just be like, look, I'm breaking free. I'm breaking free from all this. All of this. I'm just going to let it go right now. Like right now, I can't deal with it. Even though I feel like there's a force holding on to me. Like I really want to release it right now. And I just want to go out and have a good time. I just want to be, you might also be thinking uh, about things more on a practical and um, sturdy, stable, and firm level when it deals to your finances as well, okay? You're like, I got to look at things on a more practical level. I got to watch my expenses now, all right? When it comes to true love, we have the Knight of Pentacles, but it, it, it's in reverse, so it is something that you are trying to turn down. I feel like it's up here, all right? When it deals with your past life, we have the Knight of Cups. Like, I'm telling you, like, I can't make this up. These are two different energies. You have a past love life, um, a past, a karmic, karmic soulmate with a twin soulmate, mixed with a twin soulmate here. Okay. So right now you're turning this one down. This is who we turn it down right here. This earth sign. <laughs> this doesn't have to be an earth sign, but just this earth energy or whatever, um, that's in reverse. But the Knight of Cups is upward here. And this is somebody else who is also going to come with a proposal here. All right. The offers, I feel like, are just different, all right? Since you might have just met this person um, recently, okay, or a couple months ago, whatever, um, they're coming with a more softer approach. But your twin or this other uh, soulmate here, they're coming with some more firm foundation because in order for them to come back, they have to be more promising, right? They have to be promising you something. And, they, and I feel like they want to offer you the Ace of Pentacles, but right now you're turning that down. You know, I don't want to wait on this. I don't want to deal with this anymore. And when it comes to unions, you're going to be in contemplation with the Four of Cups. There's two people. Even though you have this strong attachment to this twin, you still have feelings for this new person. And remember, this is in March. This is the end of March here. Okay. This is not, I'm recording this in February. So this is in March. And this is the end of March here and this is when people return in and new people come and this is how you get left <laughs> with the four of cups you're not just like I don't know I, have, I don't have any idea here all right so Gemini's and this is going to leave you at the three of swords in reverse and three of swords in reverse is pulling those knives out your heart so that's a good thing 